treatment of diabetic retinopathy is mainly based on the stage or the severity of the disease. The mild to moderate type of the disease does not need any treatment. A close uh, regular watch, say a yearly checkup is more than adequate along with a good control. Severe type of the disease needs closer watch approximately 6 monthly. More than severe type of the disease needs treatment. However, if there is an associated swelling of the retina involving the center of the eye, which is the macula, then treatment becomes mandatory at any stage of the disease. Treatment options for diabetic retinopathy are mainly three, laser photocoagulation, injections in the eye and surgery. Laser photocoagulation forms the mainstay of the treatment. A laser beam is used to seal the leaking blood vessels. Usually the laser is done in one or two sessions depending upon the treatment and the disease severity. This is a very safe procedure and it does not require any hospitalization. Important thing is to remember that this may be needed even later in the future. So please have a regular follow up intravitreal injections. Recently, along with laser treatment, it has been found that certain medications when injected into the eye or around the eye have shown very gratifying results to vision and also checking the bleeding in the eye. The medications mainly are Avastin, Lucentis or Eccentrix or Ozodex which is a steroid implant and is placed in the eye with an injection in the operation theatre setting. The important thing to remember is that this treatment may also need to be repeated as and when required. Surgery in diabetic retinopathy is usually indicated when there is significant bleeding in the eye or there is extensive traction on the retina. Laser photocoagulation will not be effective in this stage of the disease. For surgery, usually a procedure called vitrectomy is done during which the vitreous gel which has become opaque because of the bleeding in the eye is removed along with all the fibrous elements which are causing traction on the retina. Any other procedure say gas injection or silicon oil will be needed as per the case requirement or the disease requirement. The results of the diseases are pretty satisfactory and the visual outcome usually depends upon the status of the optic nerve or the macula of that particular eye.